Hey guys, welcome back to Jenny Leclou, Detective O. In the last episode, we met Susie in the, her laboratory, and she tasked us to fetch her some scientific stuff. Which came kind of a as a surprise, but... Well, I guess sometimes the thorniest of roses are the smartest ones. That didn't make any sense, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so we are going to go to Susie, give her the battery and the transistor. And then she will make a device, which might come in handy for us too. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, here we are. Talk to Susie. Here you go. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Now, back to the task at hand. Making my escape. Don't you want to know what these parts are for? Only if it will help me get out of here. Ah! Careful! That's a stick of dynamite! Dynamite! What? Are you crazy? You could have blown me to bits. I did say be careful. What are you making bombs for? They're not bombs. They're silent explosives. Silent explosives? Think about it. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. Impossible, you say? Not at all. My first breakthrough came when I discovered the unique properties of... I can use this to blow my way out of here. Um, the explosion might be silent, but I think my mom would notice if part of the house was missing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for the show and tell, but it's time for me to go. And how exactly are you going to leave without being seen? I'm glad you asked, Susan. I'll be making my exit through the window in the attic. Once I found a way to unlock it... Oh, you're out of luck there. My parents are super security conscious. Mm-hmm. All the windows are locked electromagnetically. Where are the controls? Downstairs, in Dad's study. And I can't get there without being seen. Is there some kind of override? It's impossible to open them from up here, unless there was a total power failure. Mm-hmm. Well then, I know exactly what to do. Okay, well, I'll be here if you need help. Okay, we do need escaping Glad's Manor. Hmm. Okay, uh, you can't help us, it seems. What does this machine do? That's Judy Kate. She's a portable lie detector. Portable? It's 18 feet tall and bolted to the floor. Yeah, well, I'm still working on that part. <laughs> but she can detect a lie with 98% accuracy. That's quite a claim. Let's see. Good evening, small human child. I am Judy Kate, Arbiter of Truth, Detector of Lies. Since this is the first time we have met, I will need to calibrate. To begin, please answer this simple question. What is the meaning of life? What? what? How am I supposed to answer that? Ha! 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 Just kidding. Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. To begin, please tell me your name. My name is Jenny LeClue. Welcome, Jenny LeClue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, tell a lie. I'm Jenny LeClue, and I'm not afraid of anything. Okay, I think I we think broke, broke it. it. Yeah. It's okay. Her fuse just tripped. She gets very sensitive if you lie to her, especially if it's a big lie. <laughs> okay. But don't worry, she'll reset in a minute. Interesting. Oh, can we use that to our advantage? Huh. Uh huh. Hey! What did you do? Oh, that's just Maggie. She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Why do you have a man's ring? Mm, tell the truth. It belonged to, uh, it belonged to a friend. I'm taking care of it for him. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? That's Unless true. There's something more to it. 
Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? Was Excuse Tim, me, yeah? Tim. We need your help. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. Except, of course, your innermost thoughts. Look, I don't need a best friend. I just need him to examine the ring. Ouch. That hurt my feelings. Oh, <laughs> poor Tim. Go easy on him. He's quite sensitive. Ugh. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh, how wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? I need you to look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. Come to me, tiny object of vast mystery and import. Reveal to me your deepest secrets. Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I'm peering deeply inside you. Ooh, what's that? Deeper still. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> Fascinating. All the wonders I have seen. Well, spit it out already. One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. Uh huh. I knew there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. Interesting. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. I need to borrow your microscope. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. Mm hmm. I wonder what they do. Hmm. Nothing so far. Okay. So we're gonna start here. Go he uh huh, that doesn't work. So we're gonna start here, and then here maybe, no. Here, here, and then maybe here. Okay, that was lucky. Here, and then push this button. Interesting. The ring opened up like a flower. Why would the Dean have a ring like this? Whatever its true purpose, one thing was clear. This ring was important. Important enough to kill for? Dean Strausberry, what were you involved in? Good question. Did you say Dean Strausberry? Whose ring is that really? Dean, uh, Dean Coder ring. Oh, interesting, okay. Susie had entrusted her deepest, darkest secret to Jenny. The least Jenny could do was be honest with her. <sighs> Trust Susie. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny, you've got to turn that into the police. It could be important evidence. Considering the police think my mom is the Dean's murderer, I certainly won't be handing it over to them. But what if they ask me about it? I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible liar. Hmm, let's reassure her. It's not lying. It's just leaving out the parts that don't concern them. I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail, as long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret, you keep mine. Like, friends. True. Sure. Now go back to whatever mad science experiment you were doing. I've got a window to open. All right. That was interesting. Okay, so this lie detector will still be of use to us. Otherwise, why would be we be able to use it? Oh, let's have a look at the red Complex chalkboard. formulas filled the large chalkboard. Clearly the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that? 
I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either. I've got to try. It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Gross. Oh, that's so... That was actually very, very funny. I really like that. Okay, uh, what happens if we move the lever here? That might have been... Oh! That stupid robot just tried to kill me! Oh, be careful. Claude is very fragile. Fragile? It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. Just don't pick up anything too heavy. Hmm... Okay, but we don't have anything yet. So what might that be? Huh. Okay, just to be sure, guys, because beforehand I also seem to have missed out on stuff. Maybe there is still stuff. Okay, wait a second. We can interact with the window once again here. I'm gonna do so. You can't move it by force alone. If it's locked electromagnetically, it must be connected to the power supply. Okay, we knew that, but... Hmm, okay. So we wasted some more time, but that's okay. Let's get over there. We still can't run, which I really hate. But it is what it is. So let's get down there once again. And before we go to the right, we want to go to the left and see if we can pick up something here. No, it's just the record again, which we have solved already. Okay, so we will have to pick that lock, it seems. Okay. I don't have my detective gear to pick the lock. Oh, Besides, so... Besides, I can't just walk out in front of Mrs. Glatz. Okay, so we can't. I thought we would be able to. But if that's not the case, then we have to do something upstairs. I wonder what that might be, though. Huh. Okay, maybe we are supposed... To use the robot arm again. Okay. Can we go even more to the right? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's pick up this too. Okay, no gallery art this time. So what's going to happen if we try to pick this up? Hmm, must have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype and I'm out of replacement parts. Jenny's brilliant mind, a plan was forming. 
I know exactly how to get out of here. Okay. So how? How can how I escape? How can I escape from Glatz Manor? Okay, so it has to do something with the robot arm. When I try to lift something heavy, it sparks and overloads. The window is locked, electrum, and connected to the power supply. It doesn't make sound. She blows a fuse when I lie to her. So it's small objects. So I think it's actually this, this, and this. Let's try to make a deduction. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. Mm hmm. And when I lie to Judy Kate, she nearly overloads the power supply. So if I could overload them at the same time, then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both machines by herself. Hmm, so we will need Susie to help us. So let's talk to her, I think. Susie? Yes? I need your... Asking Susie for help was worse than having a tooth pulled out. I need you to do something. Of course. What can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh. You just Sorry. did. I don't owe you anything. Okay, what? okay. What do you want me to do? Go stand by Judy, Kate. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. All right, so I guess we will operate the robot arm, Claw. Susie, are you ready? Welcome back, Susie Glatz. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie. Tell a lie. And make it a big one. Oh, okay. A big lie. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. Oh, 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 I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strasbury. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Do you want to help or not? Yes, but... Then hurry up and say it. Okay, okay. I killed the Dean? Louder! I killed the Dean. Bigger! I killed Dean Strasbury. Say it like you mean it! I murdered Dean Strasberry! I bashed his brains in! Now I danced on his grave! Wow! Wow. <laughs> exactly! Exactly, Jenny! That was messed up. Yeah, true! Oh my gosh. I'm a horrible person! No, As you're Susie good. It was a lie. Did every bad thing she'd ever done in her life. Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success. There we go. Can finally escape now. It worked. Okay. It worked, but we are going to go to Susie and see if we can... Okay, we can't uh, consolate her. Hmm. Okay, that is... Can't... Solace her? Can you say that? Never mind. So we are finally able to escape. That's the most important thing. And that teddy bear is still very, very scary. Okay. Jenny! You can't leave now. It's past curfew. Watch me. Well, you can't go out wearing pajamas. I'm not playing dress up with you while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. 
The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Jenny paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Aren't you scared? Let's be honest. Of course Jenny was scared, but she would never admit that to Susie. My mom always says, a great detective shows courage in the face of danger. Now is the time to be courageous. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. At least take this with you then. So we can stay in touch. <laughs> Susie Toki. Uh, yes, we're gonna accept that. Fine, I'll take it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, that's a nice achievement. But don't call me. I'll call you. Okay, good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Jenny, you won't tell anyone about my lab, right? Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going to be best friends, Jenny LeClue. I just know it. Sure. That might right actually after I be... sign up for cheerleading. Yeah, that, that it might actually come to that, though. I have a feeling that Susie might be right, but we'll see. To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see what that muscle is. Okay, so here we are. Can't go there. But we can go here. jump down there. Can we go here? Yes, we can. But I also want to check out what's to the right here. Okay, we could go down there, but I want to go to the left as well. There might be something interesting, like a sticker or gallery art or something. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Gallery art. Good enough for me. Okay. Still annoying that we can't run. But it wouldn't be well advised to do so on the roof anyway. So I guess that's fine. That's actually... It does, it does make sense. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. There's a haystack there. Jenny paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Mm -hmm. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. But navigating the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Okay. She moves on her own, by the way. Oh. Damn it! Think fast, Jenny. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. <laughs> Okay, so we can do this, huh? So let's do that. I'm just wondering, can we still collect stuff if we come across stuff during this hanging around? Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that, definitely. I should have checked out if we can find more up there. Okay, we can do this. Wait. 
Okay, nothing there? I thought there was something. Huh? I don't understand. Wait. There must be something here. I am not crazy, right? There must be some... Uh huh. Oh, it's just a postcard! Nice! We got that covered now! Oh, we will have to rotate stuff. Alright guys, but I'm really sorry, we will have to do that on the next episode of Jenny Leclerc. Detective. Because we have hit the end of the episode mark. See you then.